along with our director and principal are being escorted by cadets Sukhal Tekatte, Anshul Bhandari, and cadets Arna Shetty and Smarandas Ramesh. in order to touch the hearts of humans and bring them back to heaven. Let us begin this ceremony by praying for God's blessings, which will be followed by a national song, Vande Matram. Professor Matthew C. Nyland and Mr. Sir's vision and 
leadership have infused the corridors of this institution with the spirit of learning and discovery and shape the essence of Little Rock. We extend a cordial welcome to you, sir. Today, we are privileged to have amongst us an esteemed alumnus, a living embodiment of success and the epitome of dedication, Dr. Rohan S. Mollis as our chief guest. Let me introduce and welcome our chief guest to you all. Dr. Rohan completed his class 10 from Little Rock. He was also a resident of our hostel at that time. Dr. Rohan did his PU from St. Mary's Junior College, Shilva. Then Dr. Rohan graduated in medicine from the prestigious Manipal University. He moved on to Apollo Health City, Hyderabad to pursue his specialist training in critical care medicine. He has successfully completed his master's in healthcare management. He has a lot of achievements to his credit. To name a few, he was the chief clinical officer for the Mobile Health Initiatives, the Mobile Healthcare IT Bank of Apollo Hospitals at Hyderabad. Dr. Rohan and his team at the HealthNet Global were awarded with Innovative Healthcare IT Company of the Year by Frost and Sullivan in 2010. Dr. Rohan has many awards, citations and publications to his credit. Now he has risen to the esteemed position of Administrative Officer at the Kanatu Institute of Medical Science, Mangalore. Sir, your presence fills us with immense pride as you exemplify the transformative power of education and the boundless heights one can achieve with diligence and vision. On behalf of everyone present here, I accord a genial welcome to you, sir. Here we have Shanet D. Lewis of Class 5D to offer a floral welcome to our chief guest.
all the students to be seated. Now the courage and their captain will report to the chief guest. And now we get the principal to take the chief guest to the second page.
We are honored to have Dr. Lohan S. Mullins with us on this day. I invite you, sir, to share your precious thoughts with us. This moment, I stand before you with a deep sense of joy and gratitude as we celebrate the 77th Independence Day of the Republic of India, our India, Hamara Bharat, right here at Little Rock Indian School, Pratiti Highlands, Brahmavar. Honorable Director, Dr. Matthew C. Naim, Honorable Deputy Director, Mrs. Lali Abraham Matthew, Honorable Trustees and Members of the Management Committee, Honorable Principal, Dr. John Thomas, Honorable Vice Principals, Head Teachers and Teachers, our youth icons, our nation builders, and the students of Little Rock Indian School, our non teaching staff, and all of the Bharat Ke Deshwasiyo gathered here. Namaste, Pranam, and Namaskara to all of you. I should also take a moment to remember our late founder, Dr. C.T. Abraham, a man who personified kindness, empathy, and was a true man of God. We're all sailing on his dream boat today. I have met and spoken to this giant of a personality who was humble, and I'm sure he's showering his blessings on us today from the heavens above. No words can express my happiness this moment, and this honor will be etched in my memory forever. Thank you for having me over, Professor Nigel, sir. Really grateful. Well, at this moment in time, the world is living on Russian fuel. Electric cars are going mainstream. Talks about gun violence. That hole in the ozone layer is healing. COVID is receding. There is media bias. Big economic cycles with inequality are being displayed. And on the tech front, we have inventions and innovations happening. Deserts are expanding. Wildfires are becoming more common. The world order is changing. But at the same time, there are human beings who are donating their blood and their marrow to strangers. And today, as we are a tiny speck on this mud planet called Earth, we are all gathered here with our heads held high to celebrate our strength, our unity, our solidarity, to pay reverence, reverence to our freedom fighters on our Independence Day. On this day, we remember the sacrifices of our freedom fighters. Well, I personally feel we have been paid for and we have been prayed for. With respect to today's rhetoric, paid for. Yes, through the sacrifices, the aggressions, the discriminations, the lockdowns, the barriers, the humiliations that our freedom fighters faced. After which, many generations have seen a bigger and a brighter India, which definitely has made this day possible. And I and we all of us owe them our respect and salute. And we have been prayed for the praise of our parents, our teachers, our well-wishers, our seniors in the community, and that's why all of us are here today. It is possible to be capable and lost, smiling and struggling, introvert and reaching out, successful and traumatized, vulnerable and powerful, pain and purposeful. These would have been a few of the strong emotions and instincts that our freedom fighters had gone through during the struggle of giving all of us the gift of freedom, the gift of independent India. Well, it was their chance and not, it was their choice and not chance that determined their destiny and today ours. But in the real sense, have these true heroes been forgotten? Have their sacrifices gone unnoticed? Do we revere the martyrs of the Indian freedom movement? To refresh our memories, let's remind ourselves of a few slogans which are very strong and still echo in the minds of many. Inkalab Zindabad by Shahid Bhagat Singh. Jai Hind by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Satyameva Jayate by Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya. Sare Jahan Se Achha, Hindu Sata Hamara by Muhammad Iqbal. Vande Mataram by Bankim Chatterjee. Sartaroshi Ki Tamanna, Aaj Hamare Dil Mein Hai by Ram Prasad Bismil. 
मारो फिरंगी को बाय मंगल पांडे भारत छोड़ो बाय महात्मा गांधी यस दीज वर जस्ट अ फ्यू स्लोगन्स दैट वर एक्सप्रेस्ड वेरी स्ट्रांगली बाय फ्रीडम फाइटर्स ड्यूरिंग द रेवोल्यूशन द ब्रिटिश मोनार्की ऑन अ फोर फादर्स वाज ट्रेचरस ह्यूमिलिएटिंग एट्रोशियस रेचेड अनएक्सेप्टेबल एंड हैड डिजास्टर्स कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस India, which is called as the Sony Kitchia, was torn down and the soul was crushed. It is estimated that about more than 100 million people died prematurely at the height of British colonialism. Fast forward 77 years. What is India's status today? India is a diverse country with a rich history and heritage and culture. The seventh largest country in area. with the largest producer of milk pulses the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables and rice and wheat where the top 40 in the global innovation index the fifth largest global economy and with the number one population in the world but yes with a small asterisk there especially the largest ever adolescent and youth population young champions like you We have made great progress over the last seven or decades, but there is still a lot of work to be done. And you, my dear friends, are the blessed generation. But accountability and sincerity can be so hard to come by. But we live on a planet where there is more than enough wrong to keep you busy trying to make things right for the rest of your natural life. And unfortunately, you're going to encounter people. who will tell you that it's actually not possible for you to make any real difference but i believe the students of little rock have many champions who will respectfully disagree and prove their cynics wrong to give you another perspective we are among the toughest and the most resilient people the world has ever seen recently we have been ravaged by the covid Yes, we were all masked up, we were all locked up, and we had been through complicated times. And today, as the idiom goes, the storm provides. So, what's your mantra for power? Well, I know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future too. Like our freedom fighters, we need your integrity, your curiosity, your generosity of spirit, your creativity, your high standards. and open minds with untamed imagination and this new found education to use it to and to beat the difference yes we need big thinkers we need audacious thinkers but there's a little thing in our head which keeps self sabotaging ourselves with the fear of success with the fear of the unknown and the fear of failure so as they say from the great things that we cannot do to the little things that we shall not do finally we end up doing just nothing so how do we start we start by number one conquering your fears number two communicating with kindness and gratitude number three connecting the dots let's conquer our fears please do not feel out of place not enough or inadequate let your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears like they say there is a c between the b and the d so there is a choice between birth and death and always pay attention to life because it is speaking to you communicating with gratitude and kindness let's make gratitude our religion and practice it with deep consciousness a little act of kindness or compassion can save somebody's life and also can give hope to someone and as they say heroes have no gender and because of these futurists our teachers who are whom we have amongst us gathered here today they are creating nation builders so can i request all of you to please stand up and give a standing ovation to your teachers please rise and give a standing ovation to all your teachers thank you so much please be seated this was a display 
of a small act of gratitude of saying thank you. And I just have to do this also to Professor Matthew C. Nine, who has been my teacher, who has been a, a professor in the school for very many long years, and he has guided, he and his wife have guided hundreds and thousands of children in this campus. Sir, uh, this is from me and my family as a mark of respect for you, sir. Please accept it. Well, that's a beautiful moment for me. The third one, connecting the dots. Now imagine this, the vision of this school, which was started more than 40 years ago. A dream team handpicked by the management committee and thereafter constantly beating benchmarks, achieving accolades and victories, creating new genres of achievers and nation builders. And thus, this story is nothing short of grit, strength, with high moral and ethical fiber, with nerves of steel and untamed stamina for 40 plus years of constant empowerment and excellence. And, and we are commemorating the Ruby Jubilee of Little Rock Indian School. Sincerely, it's a marvelous feat and not attainable by many. And I pray for many blessings to come for this amazing institute. But what could I be in the transformative formula? There's a simple formula to it, you know, which even we can imbibe and follow. To make it crisp, it is P times E times S3. Purpose, which is filled with passion. E, energy, which is optimized. And S3, with small and simple steps. So, keep yourself motivated and your mind high. Innovate, invent, inspire, and create a legacy. And always keep your hands on your heart and tell yourself, everything is going to always work out for me. So on a closing note, I pray for you today that you be guided by the light of God's grace your entire life and that you learn to align yourself with the source of power. That you will use, that you will use your life in service and that you will be in service to life. You will speak up. You will vote, you will show up, you will stand up, you will volunteer, you will help, you will lend a hand, you will be kind, and you will offer your talent wherever and whenever you can. And you will radically transform the spaces that you are in. And I wish that your own path may clear, thereby leaving a legacy. Thank you one and all. Jai Hind. So, that was an inspiring speech. That surely will accelerate our love for the nation. Thank you, sir. Showing gratitude is one of the simplest yet most powerful things humans can do for each other. I now I call upon Ryan Nash Lewis of Class 8F to propose the vote of thanks. A very good morning to all of you. Honored Director Professor Matthew C. Nyland, distinguished chief guest of this morning, Dr. Rohan S. Morris, Mrs. Smitha Morris. Respected Principal Dr. John Thomas, dear Vice Principals, Head Teachers, Faculty and Staff of Little Rock, and my dear friends. As we culminate this grand Independence Day celebration, I, Ryan Nash Lewis of Class 8, stand before you with immense admiration and profound gratitude to extend my heartfelt thanks and sincere appreciation to each one of you who has contributed to the resplendent success of this momentous occasion. I offer my deepest appreciation to our director, Professor Matthew Sinayan, for his visionary leadership and unwavering commitment to the cause of education. I extend a heartfelt gratitude to you, sir, for presiding over the function. Honored Chief Guest of today's function, Dr. Rohan S. Morris, richly deserves our gratitude, and I offer the same. Sir, your words of encouragement have kindled a sense of aspiration within us, urging us to venture forth and contribute to the progress of our nation. Many thanks, sir. As a token of our love and deep appreciation, I request our assessment of class 6 to hand over a memento to our chief guest.
Thank you, sir, and thank you, Arush. A hearty vote of thanks to Mrs. Smitha Monet for her gracious presence. We remain ever grateful to our Deputy Director, Mrs. Lali A. Matthew, for her love, unstinted support and guidance in all our ventures. Our Principal, Dr. John Thomas, believes in our potential and has been the pillar of strength, empowering us to soar to new heights. I express my profound gratitude to you, sir. I extend my heartfelt thanks to our Vice Principals, Mrs. Julie Esther Lewis and Mr. Hare Krishna D. for being guiding lights in our journey of learning and growth. I would like to acknowledge and thank all the head teachers and teachers for their relentless efforts in imparting knowledge and shaping the future of the students. A special commendation goes to all the teachers in charge of NCC, scouts and guides, and dedicated members of the staff who have worked relentlessly behind the scenes. Your meticulous effort and commitment to perfection have elevated this celebration to the pinnacle of brilliance, and we extend our heartfelt appreciation for your tireless contribution. My thanks are also due to my friends for their zeal and effort. As we bask in the glory of our Independence Day, commemorating the valor of our freedom fighters and the spirit of our great nation, let us pledge to uphold the values of unity in diversity and inclusivity. The memories etched today shall forever inspire us to contribute positively to our society and our beloved nation. May the spirit of independence and gratitude continue to illuminate our path as we march towards a brighter future. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, Ryan, for those words of gratitude. I'm proud to be an Indian. How often have you heard that phrase? How often have you heard that phrase and felt that emotion coming through, like a pair of arrows? Maybe once, maybe twice, or maybe you never gave it a thought. Now, that is freedom of thought. Why is it only on 15th of August or 26th of January we feel Indian? Keep in mind, on this Independence Day, while our hearts beat for India, our blood is Indian and every drop of sweat has to be shed to do something for our mother India. As students, we have the opportunity to shape the future of our country. It is our responsibility to learn about our nation's history and understand the sacrifices made for our freedom. Once again, Happy Independence Day to all. May our country continue to grow and prosper in the years to come. I am Kostuk Kali of Class 11A signing off. Thank you. I request all of you to rise. Please remain standing as the choir sings the Thanksgiving song.